and welcome back to the channel everybody i'm brant i'm lisa and this is brant versus lisa most anticipated live we for the first yeah time. for the first time we decided to uh to try this live see how that goes <clears throat> yeah and uh hopefully we'll have some people drop in in the chat and we can discuss this and some other stuff <laughs> and uh before we even get started we're thinking about in future weeks maybe doing this on facebook as well or instead yeah. Uh, so we uh, the most anticipated part, right. and we'll still do the the rating and ranking on Fridays on uh, YouTube Live. But uh, let us know, let us know in the comments below or the live chat what you would prefer. If you'd like to see us on Facebook, uh, if you'd like to see us on YouTube, if you'd like to see us not live, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want, just uh, let us know what 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 you think. We but, could try to do both, but I'm not positive it's gonna would run super well. Yeah, we we might try it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how reliable the Wi-Fi will be for that. <laughs> yeah. It does cut out uh, quite a bit where we're located. That is true. Uh, but we can try it. We can try it. Um, I, I did try it once for Zone 4. It was a little shaky, but uh, mm. we, we managed to make it through. But we'll see. <laughs> um, so this, if you're new to this, to this series, this is the show where each week on Tuesday, right before the new comics come out tomorrow, we go through and both of us pick... Uh, two comics and then we pick one together so we have five total mm -hmm. that we're uh we're anticipating yes. looking forward to and we're gonna read all five we have to read them all yeah we gotta read them all and then uh come friday we get together again come back live and we talk about them and compare and contrast where they line up in our in our individual rankings and right. ratings and stuff so uh it's fun it's it's a way to get us back into reading together and, and all that kind of stuff so mainly Get me reading. Yeah, but <laughs> this this it was your idea, that's so true. I mean, you know, that's cool. It, it makes it fun for you. Mm -hmm. it makes it kind of a, a mission yeah. in a way. So that's true. I, I like that aspect of it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so we got five picks, and uh, let's get down to them. I guess. Alrighty. All right. So I'm actually going to try to screen share the uh, the images as we talk about these. <clears throat> so. Uh, let's see where it's disappeared on me. <laughs> let's get back to that window. Where'd there it go? It is. It oh, there it is. Okay. Minute. Okay. Got it. All right. So <laughs> my, my first pick is a new book from uh, Image Comics, and it is called Excellence. Excellence number one. Um, oh, man, I forget who the writer is, and I don't have it on that screen. But uh, the uh, artist is Carrie Randolph. I mean, oh, you can pull it up on the, I on think the I iPad there. Image, 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 image. So this book is about um, magic. Brandon Thomas. Brandon Thomas is the writer. Okay, thank you. Uh, this book is about magic, and uh, it's it's kind of a legacy thing. This uh, this guy is part of a um, a group of uh, black magicians. And he's got to rise secret up. Secret society. Yeah, a secret society. And he's got to rise up and take his father's place and uh, see who's going to be on his side. And it, it sounds like there's going to be a bit of conflict and maybe some people that are, are working against him the way that it's worded. It's kind of vague uh, the way they worded it, right? Am, am yeah. I correct? Yeah. But I thought it was really cool. And I, I'm, a really, I'm really a fan of uh, Carrie Randolph's art. So I, I like the art a lot. I wonder if he'll have Blackbird elements. Oh, I don't know. Kind of different groups. Yeah, but I, I thought it sounded pretty cool, and uh, so I, I thought I'd give it a shot. So that is the uh, first book we're going with. All right, so let me get uh, the next one. I want to double-check the chat because I have to navigate away from that window. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, that worked out. <laughs> Went right to the next one. Um, Are hey. you doing yours next? No, you're going to do... Oh, okay. I thought you weren't on that. Hmm? No, I was, I was on that. Oh, okay. That was the cover. Believe oh, enough. that was the cover? It's Well, I, it's actually a variant <laughs> cover, um, but that's the one that I, I pulled up. So. Oh, okay. All right, so you ready? Sure. Well, your first pick is... Is Squirrel Girl. What is it called officially? The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. The Unbeatable Squirrel Issue Girl. Issue 44. Because it was a tie-in with the War of the Realms... And it seemed like a good place to jump in. I haven't read it at all. and But I saw that Ryan North was the writer. And I didn't realize that she had a series going on right now. Yeah. And uh, so I might have been picking that. Gotcha. There you go. <laughs> Before, you're not a super fan of the style of the, that book. but of which the, one? The writing. Squirrel, oh, the, the un, squirrel, un, girl. squirrel Girl. Yeah. 
I <laughs> as I'm talking about this, there's the other cover. Yeah. Um, and these are cropped covers. This is not the full cover, of course. But yeah, it's it's the writing in the in the margins, the gutter. Yeah. That bugs the crap out of me because it takes me. <laughs> and I understand it's it's cute, it's fun, but it takes me out of it so much because yeah. I'm like trying to read all that stuff, and it's like ah, and I it just takes me out of the story a little bit. And well, it, it aggravates me. But, I thought it would be cool to try, and I've read. Ryan North stuff on Adventure Time. And yeah, no, I mean that's like that. that's cool. That's that's fine. I'll, I'll I <clears> have <throat> read it before, and I it can be a fun book. So you know, I'll give it a shot. Plus, it ties into War of the Realm. So right, and um, I said it was a, a good standalone issue in case I don't want to keep going. Yeah, with it, I don't have to. Yeah, exactly. So that works. That, that's cool. <clears throat> we'll we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, that's my next one. So let me navigate to that image. Uh, there it is. The passed, passed it right up. All right. Screen share. This is a lot of work. I might not do this in the future. <laughs> it's a lot to keep up with. Maybe we can figure out a way to do both at the same time. Yeah, maybe. Through a, a, whatever that thing's called. What? Broadcast thing. Oh, uh, OBS. OBS. Yeah, maybe we'll use... I, I didn't even think to use that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll use OBS in the future if we continue to do it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, I think you can actually... You might be able to use it with Facebook Live. I'm not sure. Huh. I don't, I don't we'll know. look into it. Yeah, we'll look into it. Oh, Turn to my chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so my next pick is Batman and the Outsiders issue number one uh, by Brian Hill and um, I think Dexter Soy is the artist. And I, I'm kind of iffy on the series. Just because um, there was there was an arc in I think it was was it Detective Comics? It was either, yeah, I think it was in Detective Comics where they were setting up this team and then they disappeared for a bit and now they're coming back in this team. I mean in this book and I I was a little iffy about the the team but I the team dynamic but I I still like all these characters. I mean you got um, well Signal I hate his name hmm. Duke. Uh, yeah. the, the non Robin, <laughs> and uh, you got Black Lightning. You can't see him in this picture, but Black Lightning and Batman are up there. And uh, so Black Lightning is kind of the leader of the team in Who's a way. The guy in black right there. That's a girl, actually. That's uh, what's her name? The Silent One from uh, Batman and Batman Eternal, Batman and Robin Eternal. You read her. Uh, she was. She didn't talk much. Um, Cassandra, I think. Oh. Really? Um, yeah, I can't think of her superhero name. The one in the purple? No, that was Harper Row, the other one. Oh. The, the one that didn't talk. She was um, she was raised by bad guys. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, her. Yes, gotcha. And then, of course, her. <laughs> Katana? <laughs> Katana, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm just blanking. Uh, Katana, who was, you know, obviously in the... Uh, in both the movie and the show, Suicide Squad and the, and the Arrow. So yeah. In both. So, you know, it's a cool team and that cover looks really cool. So I thought, you know, we'd give it a shot and see mm. if it's any good. It's worth a try. Yeah. It's yeah. always nice to try new number ones. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, nothing to chat yet. All right. So the next one is that. So now we get back to that one, <laughs> which is a little risque cover. <laughs> I, you should have seen it before I cropped it. Um, <laughs> I'll show you guys in just a second. So your next pick is a natural issue. What is your nine? Nine. Nine of twelve. They're, yeah, they're only twelve, so we're getting to the very last of the arc. Yeah, this uh, these covers have always been kind of a little bit edgy. Yeah. But this one, man, have you seen the full cover? <laughs> I guess not. Well, let's say there's a lot more showing than than, than that. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> I think they probably do variants that are a little more. Yeah, the variant is even more. Yeah. This is the main cover, <laughs> believe it or not. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, so, but we both love the series. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, just uh, I forget where exactly it ended off. I think she had run off with a couple of the people from that hideout. Yeah, she had started the fight back against everything, right? She, right. she had embraced the, the wolf inside of her. And I think that other guy that we didn't like didn't make it. The other pig? Or, yeah, the yeah. other pig. Yeah. So I think that's where we stopped. Yeah. And I, then she ran off with the wolf and somebody else. Yeah. 
I'm having a hard time remember, remembering too. So we're getting into all the prophecy stuff and yeah. the dream stuff more. Yeah. And figuring out what's inside of her. And and her main mainly becoming who she's who she is or kind of embracing who she is kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be interesting. This is the last um what do you call it? Act. The last act in in the three part act right. story is the way they or four part act? Four part I guess act. That'd be four. Yeah, four part act. Um yeah, so it's three issues each, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, it's four issues, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah. third act, yeah. They split it up oh, into three yeah, acts, yeah, four right. issues each act. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, so this is the final act of it. And uh, <clears throat> we, we both love the art. It's gorgeous art. It's beautiful. And uh, just a really, really interesting story. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, we've talked about this before. It's got a lot of social commentary and yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So, um, we thought And it's it was, done in a way that doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it, it doesn't beat you over the head with it. Right, right. Well, I mean, because you're dealing with anthropomorphic characters too. Yeah. And it's it's not as um, outward as like Flintstones or Snagglepuss was mm -hmm. through the those recent things that were very politically driven. Mm -hmm. um, but this is it deals with those societal issues in a way that's kind of supernatural and, mm -hmm. and magical and, and uh, very interesting to yeah. follow. So yeah, we're both big fans of that series. All right, so. The last one, which is the one we picked together, um, which which image? This one, this one, or this one? Yeah, like that one. This one, okay. All right, so the last one we picked, sorry, there were three covers, uh, <laughs> is another new number one that is also a War of the Realms tie-in. Yes. Which is War of the Realms, a new Agents of Atlas issue number one. Uh, this is an interesting concept. Because you're basically taking all the Asian characters yeah. and putting them together. And it sounds like, oh, well, they're forcing it. I, I know I've heard people say they're forcing that all together. Oh. But the way it's done, if you read the description of it, is interesting because this, this war that's going on in War of the Realms is like all over, not, well, right now it's all over Earth, it's right. all over the globe. And it's starting to spread. Yeah, it's starting to spread. And these characters are actually in Asia. They're, Thwarting an attack on Asia, mm. so some of them are already there, I, right. I assume, and the rest of them kind of come together, and it's it's because they're all on that continent that they just happen to converge and become a team and, and kind of go after this, as as far as I understood it. So yeah. I like the way that they made it make sense, mm. and it's also a cool way to bring all these characters together, which you've never seen together before. Yeah. So and I like a lot of these characters. I mean, Amadeus Cho is from Champions. Right. Uh, you got Silk. Silk. Yeah. Which I, I'm a fan of. I I love the original Agents of Atlas and, and Jimmy Wu was the leader of that team. Oh, okay. So Who's I, the girl? The girl I think might be new. Um if you I, I can pull it up on here. I can get it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, there's several uh new characters or lesser known characters they're introducing in this. Uh one of them is uh called Luna Snow. I'm not sure which one that no, one is. No, it's probably her. I think she has like a snowflake on her. Yeah, that's that's the one I was thinking. All right. And Kamala, uh, Miss Marvel, might be in this somewhere because they mentioned her in the description. Oh, like, right. where is she? Yeah, that's what it was also interesting to me. Yeah. Um, it says, Cinder, Immortal Queen of... Oh, wait, that's who they're fighting. Yeah, that's basically the... Uh, yeah, she's the leader of that, that fire realm. Amadeus Cho reassembles his protectors. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they had been a team before. Shang-Chi... Yeah, Shang Chi. He's he's on the bottom of this cover that got cut off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about him. Uh, Silk, I lost it. Uh, da, da, da. And Jimmy Wu yeah. to save the world from incineration. And where is Kamala Khan? And just who are Crescent, Lo, and Luna Snow? Yes. Featuring Marvel's newest heroes from China. So I see they had a team before of just the, the three of them. Yeah. And then now they're bringing in new characters from China. Yeah, so I assume the so bear is crescent out. because of the oh, symbol on the forehead. Right. So this one that's out of frame up in the top right must be the, the low. It must be, yeah. And this one, uh, the, Luna Snow. Uh, right. So that, that's interesting. I'm, I'm curious to learn more about these characters. And uh, I, I just thought it was a cool concept. So yeah, I'm I, interested. I want to check it out. I, for some reason, I didn't realize he, the bear was a character. I thought he was like magic being... I did too, but when you said crescent and I <laughs> right. saw that, I was like, oh, well, maybe it's like a shapeshifter or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. So it'll be interesting uh, yeah. to find out. I'm excited. 
which we'll find out tomorrow. Wait, maybe that's when they come out, or whenever we read it this weekend. It's gotta Before be Friday. better than that one we just we read a few weeks ago. Journey into Mystery. I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one was terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just uh, not my kind of book. Yeah, and the second issue comes out this week, and I was like, yeah, no, no. I, I don't think I can even read it. <laughs> Honestly, it just was not my thing either so yeah um those are our main picks those are the five that we are definitely going to read and rate and rank yes. but we can talk about some other books we got a few minutes um and if anybody jumps in we, we can chat about whatever we can talk chat about avengers endgame or, or whatever <laughs> you guys want to talk about um but yeah there were some other books that you were looking for too um i will mention one that almost made our list yeah, which was shazam super close. yeah yeah we're, we're big fans of the shazam series right now mm. still gotta see that movie I'm yeah gonna, i'm gonna see it man we need to go this week. I know we we, we need to. It might disappear. <laughs> but uh, this issue is going to be fun because they're in game lands. Right. And they're driving these cars and it, it looked fun. Yeah. And every issue has been fun for me. I, yeah. I've enjoyed it. I didn't like the last one quite as much. But Yeah. It, it's it's better when they, when they centralize the focus a little yeah. bit, I think. But we didn't want to pick it again because we picked it so many times already. Yeah. So we're just going to read it and. We can mention it if we want to. Yeah, and we both have books that neither one of the other wanted to read. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yours was uh... for me. It was the second issue of Sirens because it's a whole new story. Yeah, I and know. And a new creative team and everything. Yeah. So I didn't want to. I don't know. Write it off. <laughs> no, no, I, I understand that. I just I was so turned off by the first issue. Yeah. Uh, this is a series from Boom Studios. It's a uh, Jim Henson storyteller presents Sirens. Sirens issue yeah. Two. Sorry. No, no, I was just clarifying for, for anybody watching so okay. um yeah it's that first one just was not my thing and i i'm i'm kind of hesitant to try it again <laughs> well this one was an asian story okay so if you tell me it's good and then i'll enjoy it mm -hmm. i'll read it okay but if not <laughs> i'm probably not going to okay. and the one I, I wanted to pick was wonder twins which you weren't a fan of and i've been enjoying that entire series. <laughs> it's such a fun series for me it's just not my kind of humor yeah this this issue they both go on dates mm. and i i thought it was interesting because the cover has a uh, has um uh jen was it jan Zan, Zan and jana that's their names right i I've almost called it uh uh jan and Zana, but um <laughs> Jane, I don't know names. Jaina is trying to kiss a guy on the cover, mm. and Zan is tiny in between them, oh. holding their lips and saying, Form of a cold shower. <laughs> it was cute. It was a cute cover, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought it was fun. And I've, I've enjoyed the series quite a bit. So I think I don't like it for the same reason that I don't watch those movies like The Hangover. No, mostly and, I like the hangover and movies. bridesmaids and stuff yeah. like that. It's just a little too crass sometimes. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> for so, me, I guess that's all. a lot of people. I guess really I'm showing like myself that. because I, you know, everybody <laughs> thinks I'm like squeaky, but uh, <laughs> squeaky clean. But um, yeah, I, I guess I, I do kind of like some of that stuff sometimes. Yeah. I have to be in the mood for it. I don't have but, a problem with stuff like that. It's just when it's made too jokey that it feels weird to me. You know what feels weird to me, and it's it's funny. It's a book that came out this week, and I'll, I'll probably be talking about it on Frontline Live tomorrow. Is Domino Hot Shots? Oh, Gail really? Simone makes a lot of <laughs> sexual innuendo jokes, man. Yeah, I'm that, telling. maybe I, it just depends on what it is because I don't seem to mind that one. I, I know. Well, some of those went over my head. No, oh. <laughs> so that might be part of it. He had to explain one of them to me, so it's like, uh, if you don't know it's there, I guess it doesn't bother you. There was no, there was one oh my goodness there was one in this issue you haven't read it yet no okay I, I don't want to give there's something interesting that happens towards the end of the issue so I don't want to give it away okay. but I will say the the joke is Deadpool is sitting there because he's been in the past couple of issues right. he's, he's literally polishing his sword yeah and a character walks up and says huh, guy alone polishing the sword it's like Kill, what are you doing, man? <laughs> and she does these jokes in every single issue, and it's like, oh my god, probably goodness. because it's Deadpool, and that's but it's not always Deadpool in, involved in the joke. <laughs> that's the thing, it's it's on Domino or or Diamondback. Well, or she was know. a big part of the last movie, so. uh, yeah, that's true, that is true. So, and you know, it's just Gail Simone's humor, and yeah. it's it's hard to get used to that sometimes. It's like, oh, wait a minute, <laughs> Gail Simone's cracking some jokes. I guess here. the writing huh. is so good in general in mm -hmm. her book that I don't mind because everything else i really love yeah i don't mind it because it comes off like this really tongue-in-cheek kind of thing yeah. it's like oh that's that yell you know <laughs> it's, it's just like when you think
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of funny. I think with Wonder Twins, it was more. It was that plus the cheese factor was way amped up. The cheese factor is way <laughs> amped up at Wonder Twins. I, I enjoy the cheese factor. I think okay. that's part of the fun for me uh, with that book. So. Yeah, that's my problem. Yeah. Okay. That's that's fair. Uh, are there any other books that you're that you're looking forward to? You want uh, to talk about? Captain Marvel. Oh, really? Okay. To finish that off, I'm still behind the last issue. I didn't read the last issue. I, I'm just. I'm not a fan of this arc. Mm. I, I I want this arc to be done and then it, to move this on. This is the last one, I think. So I just want to see how it ends. Yeah. No, I I get that. I just uh, I'm so aggravated by the direction <laughs> this book took because like 90 percent of that first issue, I was like, oh my god, this is the best Captain Marvel I've read in years. And then they twist it, and it's like, oh, <laughs> that just ruined it for me. Yeah. And I I've still been reading it. I've still been reading it and trying to trying to get through it and there's still elements of it that i enjoy but uh overall it's just i don't i'm not a fan of the concept of the uh arc yeah i think that was the main thing i was considering jumping into supergirl just to see oh really but i don't know okay i couldn't tell if it was new or like in the middle of an arc yeah so um, I'll, I'll circle circle back to that one. Um, just want to mention Archie and Betty and Veronica right. both come out this yeah, week. Yeah, I'll probably finish off Betty and Veronica. I need to. I'm way behind on Archie now. Okay, so. Betty and Veronica, I have not liked. I'll be glad to see it go. This is the last issue. <laughs> I know, but I've like read the whole thing. I have so too. Again, yeah. it's like I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not enjoying Archie either. Uh, I I definitely prefer Mark Wade's run. On the book, I, I'm not a fan of what's going on right now, but I think I would be liking it if I were up to date. Hmm. I, I am up to date, and I'm still not liking it. So <laughs> that's just you know a difference in opinion. There was that an what was die a new thing or is that a reprint? Die, 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 die. That is that's oh, a, that's something else. Yeah, that's like that's I don't know what that the is. The one we're the reading. Book. No, I think it was in, tied to the, but it was a product. It wasn't oh, the comic. Okay. Supergirl. Let's look at Supergirl and see what's going on in Supergirl. I have not read Supergirl in a long time. Uh, do yourself, Crystalline Man. It's an all-out fight. It is a crystal battle steel, and Supergirl must choose between avenging Krypton and sparing a wicked life. I have no idea where this is. If anybody in the in the comments post live wants to let us know if this is a jumping on point or something because it was a big battle i thought maybe it could be a jumping on point because it might be the very end of one yeah yeah so if so it's a, i don't know if it is let us know and uh might check it out my yeah. trade out because I, it's, it's, I can't even tell you the last time i read supergirl it's been <laughs> that long but yeah i think those are the main ones that we're like super looking forward to um I mean, a Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man for me is another one. I, I've really enjoyed that series, and now we're going on to a, a new arc for the first time. you got to decide if I'm going to keep going with the symbiote Spider-Man yeah. just to finish it or not. Yeah. I, it's, you know, we only read the first issue so far, so right. you could go either way with that. But I, I liked it. I mean. Yeah, it was sort of middle of the road. Right, right. Yeah. But it could get better. It could. It could. Um not not like a huge week though. I think no. I, I can't think of like these major books. I'm like, oh, uh, Oberon. I fell behind on. I didn't like yeah, it as much as too. you did. Oh, um, I only read the first issue. Oh, really? I haven't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I read. I haven't I, gone back and finished. I read the first two. Um, I skipped the last issue. I think so. That's sort of the kind of book that I like to buy in trade. Oh yeah. And read all together. That makes sense. That makes sense. But yeah, not not a huge week this week for me, at least. Um, I'm I'm trying to look and see if there's anything else that's like jumping out at me, and I'm and just yeah, we didn't have a huge list this time. Yeah, usually, usually it's like we're yeah. we're trying to narrow it down. Detective Comics, I've been enjoying that. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be reading that. I can usually come up with more than I did this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. But yeah, that's that's really about it um, for me. So. Yeah. I guess that's it. We don't have anybody in the in the chat right now, so there's like mm -hmm. nothing uh, extraneous unless there's anything you want to talk about before we uh, wrap it no, up. No, we'll save it for Facebook, maybe. For Facebook, okay. Next week. Yeah, or the live show this Friday if you want to. If you oh. watch this post live, yeah. um, 
you can tune in Friday live at 8 p.m. Central. Yeah. We'll be doing, um, we'll be talking about all five of these books, rating and ranking them and comparing notes and, mm -hmm. and uh, talking about whatever comes up in the live chat yeah. as well. Why don't you, if you have a questions, leave them in the comments and yeah. we'll answer them on Fridays. Yeah. Show. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Leave us some, leave us some questions in the comments and uh, we'll address those. And uh, if you want to hear my thoughts on this, this last week's books, uh, you can tune into Frontline Live tonight. Tonight. I said tomorrow night earlier. Oh, well, tonight. <laughs> I know. I'm used to recording this on Monday. That's why I, it threw me off. Yeah. But yeah, you can you can listen to my thoughts on uh, Frontline Live tonight as we discuss our uh, our top five there. Yeah. So and most anticipated and all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna draw while y'all. Oh, okay. Talk comics. Okay. And then <laughs> if if you are a viewer of Frontline Live, just real quick, next week is our 250th episode major and milestone yeah and we're gonna have the entire cast back i think i think mike's fire slayer is gonna be there uh, oh, it might be, be late a, it'll be a miracle if he's there he's so busy <laughs> no, yeah, i know he's <laughs> super busy but uh he i think he's gonna show up late we got a new giveaway start next week mm -hmm. um and it's gonna be a fun one uh for fans like me of spider-man <laughs> so there's, there's a little teaser for you um but yeah so other than that please uh Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe and notification bell so you get updates on all the content going up to this channel and all the live shows. And uh, you can follow me at Brant Fowler on Facebook and Twitter. Follow both of us at Last of the Press on Instagram. Yes. Until next time, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye.